entire Ciri collapse in the swamp. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Velen's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nursed back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. I don't remember if we've been given that update before. You drink a lot of water too. Uh, three liters per day? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I find it so easy. Well, it automatically put me on this quest to go to Skellige. We are not doing that, so... We're going to go back to finding Dandelion's ladies. That way we have a fast travel right here. We gotta talk to them to investigate his whereabouts. So, returning all the way up to Novigrad. Don't know which one. I don't think I'm gonna be going to this one first, but this is definitely the fastest. Or the closest fast travel to all three of them. Uh, Bar Atravilla. Let's do Maribella first. Let's sprint! Get there so much faster when we sprint. This one is a school teacher. Can I even talk to her right now? Is she teaching kids at I'm trying to peep in the window? Is she teaching kids at midnight? Let me see if they're in there. It looks like I saw her stand in there. Oh yeah, the kids are in there. Well, it's just so unrealistic for that to happen right now, and I want my health to be full, so let's come back in the morning. guys doing excuse me I'm looking for Marabella I am Manuel I am she wait outside class is in session fine I'll wait I'll wait it won't take long it turns out he'll not come off wait all. until the lesson is over a rat bit him. I think you can wait in the building but I'll respect her wishes you don't die from rats stupid mm -hmm. I'm reading this conversation these kids are having that's what I needed to wait for those kids to have an argument Oh, nice! You just finished Blood and Wine. So good. Jeepers I know, it's the best game. Jeepers creepers. Alright, kids. Get out of the way so I can talk to your teacher. Now can we talk? Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems. <laughs> no. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe... No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. Mwah. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? The fungus no. incident. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Oh, uh, the one that you get from Hattori. Um, no, I haven't gotten that one yet. I got that quest going, like I went and visited him and ate some dumplings. But we haven't gotten far enough in that quest yet to get the blade. I think you have to be a higher, or it's, it's recommended that you be a higher le level before you work Thanks on that. Thanks for your help. Farewell. They bug out if you stash them. Jeez, that sucks. Well, I'll try to remember not to put them in my stash, but at the same time, what if I need to? That's not ideal. Diary of a Fire Swallower. Okay, I guess we'll take that book 
again. Can I sell it? Just gonna do a quick little loop. I don't think I've had Geralt read that book before. Oh, wait. Can I get this one? And that's probably not even worth it. Um, anything else? A lot of books. That's good. Now we can go talk to Molly. Oh! Goodness. So many people. I think you can actually turn down in the options how many people are around, but I don't want to do that because then it feels less realistic. Yeah, that is a bummer. Oh, I think I have to actually be up there. That's good, at least that they let you get Erendite, since they don't let you bring it over from your Witcher 2 save. And let me bring over shit for my Witcher 2 save. All that hard work. This Baronet's love of Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is right now. Be gone. Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep. Surely this is no chance encounter? Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistaking you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette, <gasps> an Imperial General and a Witcher meet. And know each other. Surprising. I did not understand exactly who she was. Um any other time that I played this game <laughs> until now like La Valette that is mentioned I think one time ever in the books in the little council meeting with the uh, kings and and the queen queen Meave. they mentioned something to full test about his affair with the La Valette but anyway now that I've played The Witcher 2 I know what this interaction is about and I have seen an interaction here an alternate thing where um she's very cold to you and I guess that's if you killed uh, what's his name, Arian, in the beginning of The Witcher 2? Um, I, I got Arendite in Blood and Wine just the one time, though. I've only done Blood and Wine once. I'm very excited to do that game again. Um, that forest in Vizima. We've met before. And how? Imagine this, Louisa. And how? The Emperor desired to chat that expression. with the Witcher. I, too, was fortunate enough to meet him then. Hmm. So Geralt of Rivia now works for Emperor Emir. Interesting. Has Var Emri sent you to rid Novigrad of monsters? Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maidservant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vagelbud. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? Yeah, take me with you. Well, if Molly will be there. On our way then. Oh no, you didn't spoil anything. You're all good. Um, the ending I got in Blood and Wine was. What's her name? Siana. I don't remember the names. This needs to be a little bit brighter or something. Um, the Duchess Anna Henrietta's sister. I. She does not. I know that she can kill her sister, and it can be really bad. But no, they they make up. We've arrived. Sienna. Okay. 
I hope you begin with an S. Yana didn't sound right My to me for some reason. A similar estate even in it was her. As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? I guess so. Called every horse I've had Roach. The Grey Mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Grey's a nice color. It's another guy here. My coin from the Black Stallion, Nemrod, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Cantarella is the name of a spy. She pretended to be some ditzy dumb lover of uh, Batsir Dorito. But she was really a spy. Know anything about the chestnut or the bay? The chestnut is Thunderbolt, a pure blood retaining, gallant steed, but too headstrong for my taste, difficult to control. And the bay hails from Zericania. Lord Zavolta acquired him recently. I know little about him. The Zericanians are reputed to have incredible stamina. I won't put my money on that one. Seem to know your horses. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make we'll still me do it. beg, Witcher. Tell you what. Win, and I shall give you my finest saddle, made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Uh, no, I went to the Land of a Thousand Fables. I didn't go see the Unseen Elder. I, uh... I don't really know exactly how that goes. I've seen, like, clips of it in videos or something. I don't know. I've seen something about it somewhere, but... The Land of a Thousand Fables is... so cool. Oh, so there's a what an armor set that you can only get if you see the unseen elder. Damn. I guess that gives you more incentive to go there because the land of the thousand fables is very intriguing compared to seeing some scary old vampire. <laughs> yeah, let's race. Why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Well said. So, which steed do you choose, Witcher? Yeah, I mean the Zeracanian. Heard tales of Zeracanian horses. I'll ride the bay. I'll not ride with you, but I shall bet on a steed. Nemrod will win, no matter the rider. Cantarella for mm. me, then. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. What do you get um, in the Land of a Thousand Fables? I don't, I don't remember. Riders ready! Yes. I get so into these races. Get out of my way. Like I, I, this is one of these things where I like hold my breath the whole time. It could be tricky when you run out of stamina. When you're getting close to the end. Did you ever do the? The tournament in Blood and Wine. I felt like a lot of the things in the tournament were really easy. Yeah, I'll just block them. And then wait for my stamina to get full, and then I go. Let's go, Roach number two. Um, a lot of the things in the tournament were really easy, except for the horse race. I could not beat the horse race, because you had to, like, it wasn't just a horse race. You had to shoot stuff with your crossbow and then hit something with the sword at the same time and I could never what line a it thrill. up. What a thrill! A beautiful victory! Woo! Thanks. For Nimrod didn't win. The roach, you carry yourself exquisitely in the saddle. My congratulations. That is yours. Yeah. Superior racing saddle. Now, could I talk to your chambermaid, milady? Ah, oh, yes, Molly. That is why oh, you nice. came here after all. The portly young woman. That's her. Speak to her. And you must find us when you're ready to return to Novigrad. We'd be delighted to join you for the journey. Well, well, another freak. <laughs> they always push me out of the way when I come out of it. Yeah, the crossbow part was pretty easy because of the auto-aim thing, but... 
hitting the sword, the dummies with the sword, or whatever it was with the sword. Um, yeah, that was uh, really difficult. And I couldn't win. Like, I, I couldn't go, I guess, because like, it gives you more time, and I forget exactly how it works. But I just remember trying it over and over again. And then when you reloaded the most recent save that you were allowed to have, you had to sit through so much shit. Like, you could skip all the cutscenes. But my god, <laughs> they were. <laughs> there was so much to skip through. And after, like, the fourth or fifth time of not getting it, I was like, well, I'm just not going to win this one, I guess. Molly. I'm Molly, my lord. Wish to see me? Call me Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelion's rescued time and time again? Sure. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't be here if not for Dandelion. Told me all about your adventures. How he'd ready you for battle with his songs. How he tamed the Kairon by playing his lute. I meant that literally. Dandelion's why I'm here. Came to ask you about him. Know where he might be? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says Dandelion's a good-for-nothing layabout. Can you imagine? Can't imagine. But... <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. Yeah, I'll let, I'll let the illusion continue. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. He said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles, and he'd sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. The bat attack and the fight against that left. Oh yeah, and you were playing on Death March. Oh my goodness, yeah. I had to reload. Oh, I do have to say this part, damn. I had to reload so many times. I died, I think, eight times when I fought Death that laugh, and it wasn't on Death March. <laughs> yeah, right, it goes through Quen. The bat attack. There, Quen does not do anything. Yeah, that was... In my opinion, that was the toughest fight in the entire series. For me, it was. I did not like that death laugh fight. You do realize kind of fun, Dandelion but... doesn't have a sister. I was sure not good does. at it. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they've different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. Looks well, after she... her. Kind Wait, of agrees. Packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister. I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he grow all quiet and then change the subject. Thanks, Molly. Wait. Before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. And I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful! Thanks, and good luck to you on your search. Thanks, Molly. Find a way into the Atra Villa. I don't remember this. Hmm. Well, well, another Hard freak. brings him down. I don't need to loot that, right? It's just, okay. I think I just automatically have it. Yeah, there it is. 50 stamina, 20 stamina, 35 stamina. Yes, yeah, the best one. I don't have any saddle packs, which I think helps my weight. Okay. Uh, wait, is there a fast travel near here? I think I can open one. Oh, it's over here. I don't know what it Oh, okay. I think I know what we need to do. Oh, the fist fights. Oh. <gasps> 
Oh, those bugs are so annoying. So yeah, you load in and then immediately you're in the wrong spot. You're getting your ass whooped. That's so frustrating. <laughs> you rage so much on this. I would love to witness that. Uh, okay. Why don't I remember this? First, I said I thought I knew what I needed to do, but I actually don't remember this at all. Oh, wait, I do remember this. You're not gonna let me go in, right? Only unwavering in love with the power of this flight. Yeah, I talked to this guy. She wouldn't. Obviously. Wanna see Rosa Varatra? Oh, mate, if you only knew what I want. Miss Rosa don't see just anybody. I'm Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Soon as Miss Rosa turns into a striker, I'm sure her papa will send for you. But she's not showing any symptoms yet, so I bet you you're not needed. On your way now. Want. Deliver our children from every I know we go around the back. I don't know if we go this way. Oh, or... Yeah, this has to be great. Right. I think there's a chest somewhere near here. Anything cool over here? No. Great shot, that's a good cool thing to have. Oh, we're gonna wanna sprint and jump. Ah, eh, maybe we didn't need to sprint, but better safe than sorry. Oh shit. <laughs> Interesting. My darling Rosa. From the first moment I set eyes upon you that faithful evening at the Vagal Buds, my heart has only beaten for you. I can't eat or sleep. My master threatens to terminate my apprenticeship, and I don't even know if you remember me. Albert Vagal Bud introduced us near the roasted capon table. I happened to be eating one when I saw you. It stuck in my throat and I started to choke, and you laughed. Oh, how sweetly, how brightly you laughed. That marvelous sound still fills my ears to this day. And I live in the hope that I will be given a chance to hear it once more. I beg you, meet with me, even if just for a moment, just for a second. I will wait by the well in Gildorf every day at dusk. If you care for the life of a poor lad fallen hopelessly in love with you, take pity and come. Do not torture me with eternal waiting. Your truly devoted admirer, Gilbert Blith. It's like a misconnection letter, but uh, it's definitely not going to work out for him. Anything over here? Anything interesting? Oh. You fancy men like me? Whole town's going on about it. So no point playing hard to get, sugar puss. It's Lady Varatra to you. Go over here and I'd invite you to her. Who are you? Why are you here? Answer this instant or I'll summon the guards. Ah, sorry to sneak in, miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. Geralt of Rivia? The famed Witcher of the Ballads? What are you doing here, Vagrant? How'd you get in? I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This... This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac. <laughs> my, my new swordplay instructor, correct? Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. But my lady's a Witcher. Said so himself, back by the gates. Captain, do you truly believe Rosa Which of your moonlights as a train with sword random clods calling themselves sword masters? No. The Var Artras demand the very best. Thus, we've hired a witcher. Take him to the training room. Now. As you say, miss. What was the fight in Hearts of Stone? Like, who are you fighting?
I hope you realise what you've got yourself into. I hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. I'll be fine. Now the grab a wooden white to Take care not to hurt the little miss. Follow me. Ready, following you, let's go. This is priceless now. Oh, and the painted world. The You're whole my thing new with the um the Well well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. What's it called? Wood, the... to start with. Old gear I must know. Von Everick. The Von Everick estate. That was so creepy. Whoa, there's a floating head there. No mercy! I don't care that you're learning. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Why bother with two swords when you can This music is so intense for somebody that is not going to kill you. There couldn't. Oh, damn it! Well fought. You're much better than the last one. I'm not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? Whoa! So all the Olgierd's zombie things. Okay, those were so creepy. I hated those, and they were really hard to beat. And you can actually choose to wake all of them up at once. I did not know that. I don't think I'll ever choose that option when I do Hearts of Stone in the future, because I'm sure I'll do it a bunch of times throughout the rest of my life. But yeah. Fuck that. That sounds really difficult. Yeah, didn't we just talk? Am I imagining things? Didn't we just have this conversation in the garden? The garden? Yes, yes, in the garden. So what was it you said? Why are you here? <laughs> Before I ask, gotta admit, you do pretty well with a sword. One pointer, don't expose your left flank when you dodge. Oh, I know, yeah, terrible dummy. habit. Can't seem to get rid of it. I'd hope to find someone in Novigrad who could help me to do so. But don't you dare try to dazzle me with advice. Already admitted you're not here to give me lessons. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Just kick the shit out of it. So you can use a fireball to stun all of them. But yeah, you're right. Otherwise. Why Ever fight a witcher? <laughs> Ever fight a witcher. Otherwise, I don't know that. Like you said, I don't know that it would be possible to win that on Death March. Oops, I put my sword down. I'm sorry, Tom. Don't fight. Damn it! She's dead. Well, if you're not an instructor. Should certainly be one. She'll cover him. Fancy giving me a few private lessons. Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind. Edna Va Atra. 
the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Hang on. So it was you in the garden? <laughs> of course it was me. Why, did Rosa try to play you for a fool? Mm -hmm. Don't be mad. We've done this since we were children. People have always mistaken us for one another. A lot of people got frustrated that those, these interactions don't lead to something more later. Like with the twins? Like a romantic thing? Oh, Tamira the herbalist in White Orchard. Yeah, the, this is basically... <laughs> this quest is just to whack the shit out of her with a wooden sword until she's covered in blood. <laughs> it seems like he would fuck her up really bad because he's so strong and he's a witcher. Um, yeah, just explain. Can someone please explain what this is all about? Which of you met with Dandelion? No need to get angry, Instructor. I'll explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Ooh. Shut up. Quiet. Ooh. <laughs> he said that in such a Strong quiet, calm way. Quiet. Perhaps it's time I took up swordplay. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Who Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptional. A word you don't hear often. Of course. This woman, not a local, right? I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. I didn't want to ask them about the other well, things because... Can I expect any more lessons in future? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, changed my mind. <laughs> Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. I want to ask about those other things because tomorrow. we've been Same here for too day. long as See it is. You See you, Master Witcher. And this was fun at first, but now it's boring. The twins are only fun for a couple of minutes. And then they get old. The Cal Kalanetta is the new SC Gavin. I actually um, have thought about that before. Like, I wonder if they did that on purpose. Um, but obviously, I'm not the only one who's thought about that. What's her actual name? Penelope? Something that begins with a P. Well, we will come back another time for the fencing lessons. We've got plenty of time before side quests start to become unavailable. Some of them never become unavailable. Remember which ones exactly do and which ones don't. Some of them I know, like going to um I don't want to pick up any more books. I want food. This guy's sick of it all. What was I just gonna say? Oh, the one where you help the Baron save his wife. If you do not do that before a certain part of the game. I pretend I did not hear that. Going to the Isle of Mists. Wait, is that food? No, I'll take it. Fuck it. Um, then the quest fails. There's others that fail at that point too, but that's the only one I know off the top of my head. There's that music! Comes and goes. So time to go talk to Zoltan again. Sienna is basically ran for yeah. Yeah, very similar characters. Nobody hurt themselves writing that character. 
What the? Oh, the Baron's Henchman. We got Baron's Henchman. Is it Horson's Henchman? I have had no interaction with anybody related to him. I don't know what could have. I'm not doing it. So every time I go through here, they try to fight me. I've done nothing with Horson Jr. yet. I don't know why they're already trying to attack me. Something must have triggered it. I don't know if it was a choice or if it just happens automatically. But it's annoying every time you cross through certain areas of Novigrad, you just get attacked. So, I leave them alone. I'm not gonna do that every time. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, what do you mean by talking? Zoltan, venture to say a mage would have trouble turning that owl into a parrot. Sure, you know me that well. Mark my words, she'll be playing Gwent with us in no time. But we want to talk about Dandelion. Yes. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Yeah, you go first. Tell me what you've got first. A few bruises and a torn doublet. Otherwise, not much of it. He wasn't staying with any of them. We've not seen hiding or hair of them in ages. All I learned was a few of Dandelion's pickup lines. Dubious worse. Let's hear him. I'm all ears. Uh, I know how he wooed a lass studying natural history. Asked her about the habits of trolls. <laughs> you know where he went with the cook from the Pass of Flora? The Oxenford Novigrad Road, which has just now been repaired. He us stay for hours as laborers crushed boulders into cobblestones. Tried to pass it off as a romantic outing. I don't know of a human woman, but that would bore a dwarf and last to tears. He's growing old, that poet of ours. Maybe. Or maybe he did all that for a reason. Sounds like you found something out. Yeah, but it's funny you mentioned the owl's eyes. Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, mystery woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently, named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Priscilla, I not Penelope. <laughs> must be her. Who's this Priscilla? A Troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picks up dandelion with a pair of tits and you get the general idea. Interesting image. So how dandelion handled meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more? A laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Never there in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Maybe we already looted this place. Maybe we missed some stuff. Or maybe they regenerated? Either way, I'll take it. Oh, goodness. Letters for dandelion. Okay, there's plenty of food. A lot of it's booze, which I don't like. More letters from female admirers. I think that's said all the same shit. Yeah, I don't like the booze, but I'll take it. A lot of books about what shall become of Samaria. Oh, this is my stash. The do do I don't need to do anything with it. Just jump on top of it. Uh, yeah, let's go meet Zoltan at the Kingfisher. All right. Will I 
got oh, oh. Oh. oh, that like that's one contract with the Doppler. Is that the one you're talking about? Where he turns himself into Geralt and you have to fight Geralt as Geralt. He actually is a worthy competitor. Oh yeah, that was a painting of Dandelion, like, defeating something. I'll go to the other entrance. Or maybe not. Okay, get to it from here. I was gonna go on the other entrance. But this is easier. Here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon. I don't remember the one from Blood and Wine. I'm sure I've seen it though. Somebody paints Geralt. It's like it's a side quest where the guy paints you. I think you get to choose the list of options. These gods long have yearned for your tender caress to bind our fortunes. Damn what the stars are. Rend my heart open. Then your love profess a winding, weaving fate to which we both. of a reaction I know, to the song that's about him and Yen. Have us live as one. He doesn't say anything about it afterwards either, I don't think. Love's blind charts, we've been bound. The wish I whispered when it all began. Did it forge a love you might never have found? You flee my dream. Oh, yeah. Fucking hate this. Scent, <laughs> You'd be crawling out of his skin right now. Sweet, I like to think he's just not paying attention. <laughs> he doesn't like this stuff. Dandelions put him through it plenty of times throughout their friendship. He's learned to tune it out. <laughs> he has no idea the song's about him. See, he's not paying attention. Zoltan had to 
point out to him that it was over. He didn't even know it was over. <laughs> I know him! Twas him murdered some Tamarian boys back in White Orchard. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. This lady okay. sucks. There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's arse. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. See I wish to listen to music. Music. Cultural capital of the world. The fuck it is. Yes, yeah, sit down. Nobody wants to hear you. Permit me to introduce uh, Alessia's Priscilla, known also as Calaneta, as lovely as she is talented. And this is Geralt of Rivia. I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. Mm. I don't want to be mean to her. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal sassy. and insignificant details. Not mean, but Did he sassy. offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. Like for one moment there, she seems totally crazy. You're like, oh, okay, I see what there you're a doing. Reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Shoot up. And I've not seen him since. So even though he claps and he seems pleased, he can choose dialogue that contradicts that later. I can't remember. Reuven. Reuven. What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. I got to pay for his way into Basa Flora once. I'll need to wait the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone, Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. His henchmen just attack us in the streets. Got it. You're not a fan, but what did he do to you? try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. I'd be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. Oof. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. That's right. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Well... Bugger all to do here. Go to the bathhouse and talk to, to Siggy Reuben. After you loot this room, that's what it says. So just run away before you could read it. 
Take care now. Ooh, we leveled up. And I got a point to distribute. Which I will do later. I don't like doing that while I'm streaming. I, I need time to think about it. I'm very indecisive. And uh, I, I, I get insecure about being judged. Look how shiny those candle flames are. That's weird. Yeah, the horse and junior's henchmen do look like Joker cosplayers. Such lovely natural seek to get me drunk, sir? Uh, if I was seeking to get I you drunk, get madam, drink, we would not be drinking Coke to Bliss. I believe um, I shall stop this. coming this here. Why? Why? The one that tells you to actually. Really quick. I know you can play this guy in Gwent. We're not going to do that, though. I, want, I just want to see if he sells, um... The kingfisher preen cards. then fell in the latrine. No it? Yeah. Also another one about Princess Annie, who drowned in the river Fanny. Uh, yeah. At any rate, the kingfisher welcomed poetry lovers with open arms. Some of the brightest stars in the literary firmament formed here. What are you serving today? This guy will give you a card? Are these square tall cards? I never use the Squiatel deck, it's... It just takes forever to fill out, but I'll buy them. I'm not gonna pass them up. Um... Should I play him? Oh yeah, I can't play him right now. See you later. Do I play him later? I think it might be part of a quest, maybe that's why it's not in order right now. I could definitely play around with Gwen right now, but I'm not gonna prioritize it. If it if I talk to somebody who plays Gwen, I'll do it. But right now, I really wanna go do this quest because I like this quest a lot. Get Junior. Okay, I think I have to get that quest triggered. Oh wait, I think it's down below. Yes. I'll miss a woman's touch. I like this whole outside area. I think that's really cool. I love all the detail. Nice touch. Anybody there? Open up. You got all of them? Even the skeleton deck? Wow. I made it a mission one time to try to get as many Gwent cards as I could, but... I never got enough Squiatel, the definitely the not enough Skellige, or enough to monster to cards I know he's to here. be able to I actually play with those de decks successfully. Yeah, I don't care. Tell him Geralt of Rivia wants to talk to him. I cannot promise Mr. Rubin will have time to see you. Wanna bet? <laughs> Very well, I shall try. Please wait. Siki Ruven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You got all those cards and you don't even care that much for Gwent? You made this robe here. I Your equipment it. will be safe. I don't like standalone Gwent, but I love Witcher 3 Gwent. Okay, now that I'm Splendid. naked, basically. Over and awaits in the next room. Hey, boy, hey. Nice bum you have. <laughs> You were right. He doesn't shut off his hand, then ordered him to shut it off the cops' ass. And then he oh. sent the ones to try to get his own. I never thought about that. He's inspired by Varys <laughs> from Game of Thrones. Yeah, both eunuchs, both bald. Easy, Cleaver. All son Jr. is a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. 
Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loot. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> so bitter. Yeah, I'm not gonna be polite to him if he asks me who the fuck am I. Got something to discuss with Dijkstra. I mean, Siggy Reuven. I think he can wait. Yeah, probably can. Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Yeah, I actually... I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. I've seen some of the Game of Thrones references in Blood and Wine. Like, there's a girl that says something about... I think she even calls her sword Needle? She says some other Arya Stark shit. Just like a random NPC child. Oops. We need one alive. Not one escapes. Got it. Oh, no, I thought I dodged. What? Lost your nerve? Oh, shit, he got fast. We need one alive. Ah, I'm stuck behind an abstraction. Alright, we've got one. Good work, Jen. Right, yeah, the one that's supposed to be terribly sorry in. for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were horse and scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. How are you, Reuven? Disappeared for a few years there. Only to reappear here in Novigrad? Oh, I've been here, there. Spent some time in Zeracania, matter of fact. Hmm. What did you do in the desert? Sought oneness with nature. Magical place, really. But I missed civilization, so I'm back. Aim to plant roots in Novigrad, become a respected citizen. And who knows, someday, maybe even a town councillor. Not gonna introduce me to your friends? Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. Francis Bedlam you know, but then who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of entrepreneurs of limited initial means? And the dwarfs Carlo Vares, known also as Cleaver. Carlo's in entertainment, mostly. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? Junior's gonna help me find someone. Horson's not helped a soul in all his miserable life. I'll ask him nicely. See, Cleaver? Perhaps if you'd not called Junior an uncle fucker and asked him nicely, he'd have showed up today. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Poor son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse son's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out.
And you, Geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want a fine horse, son? Find me first. Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet. A value in itself. Leave you to it, then. I'll, uh, look in on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Yeah, let's stop talking all naked. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. That sounds awful. He did get magical help from Philippa. But I guess the magic wasn't enough. Geralt's very strong, so when Geralt broke his ankle, yeah, I guess it's not surprising that it didn't recover well. I had my reasons. <laughs> Your leg would be fine if you hadn't gotten in my way. I see. Well, I promise you that if I could go back in time, I'd do things quite differently on Thanid. For example, I'd have my men kill you instead of just tying you up. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Orson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Pretty clear you and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. War doesn't solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake, someone's behind Horson's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Your partner's aware of your past? They know you're Sigismund Dijkstra, former head of Redanian intelligence? <laughs> Cleaver, Bedlam and Junior. Well, I'd call them my partners if we'd built a mill to grind flour for the folk of nearby hamlets. We just need to stay out of each other's ways. Agree from time to time. That doesn't make us partners. Do they know who I am? Was. Bedlam, sure. The others most likely suspect. But we just don't talk about it. No need to. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Kemmelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue though. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with the casino officially. So careful what you say. Try not careful to arouse what you say. any suspicions. Gotta be discreet. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf. But you'll have to enter through the bits. Endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. 
Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. You in contact with Radovid? <laughs> see, you're as witty as ever. No, I'm not in contact with him. I prefer it remain that way. Never quite forgave you for conspiring with Philippa Eilhart? Radovid doesn't forgive. Not anything. Not anyone. And especially not the sorceress of the Lodge. Yeah, Radovid's crazy. Philippa Eilhart. Had any news? Just good. Meaning? After Radovid popped her eyes out, she disappeared without a trace. If I have any luck, she's finally eating dirt. Thought you two were close. We were, until Philippa sent assassins after me. Yeah. From master spy to master criminal. Interesting progression. Why? Truth be told, they're awfully similar. Both about maintaining a net of informers, being tough in negotiations, bribing officials, the occasional assassination. Same old shit. <laughs> yeah. Except you used to do that in the name of some ideal. And now? Now I've decided I've slaved enough for ideals. It's time I worked for myself. And thus far, it's been going rather well. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, no. trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Yeah, as far as I'm say, concerned, he, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. Seem a bit prickly. Something bothering you? Sorry. I know I've been unbearable lately. But at my age, the menopause, what with hot flushes and violent mood swings? Dijkstra, men don't get menopause. You know that, don't you? <laughs> yes, you moron. I also know you don't actually give a shite about my problems. What do you want? Looking you got me. Need work. Thought you might throw some my way. Monster trouble, that sort of thing. Yeah. Might be able to help me, in fact. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion. Establish what happened to him. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. Okay. So kind as to follow me. I will follow you next time. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.